So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the uh, larynx uh, structures and maybe even some oral cavity uh, structures here. Uh, for orientation purposes, we're looking at the tongue right here. <clears throat> this is a uh, sublingual uh, salivary gland. This is a submandibular uh, salivary gland. Here's the hyoid bone. So this structure all through here is the larynx. And this is the trachea. Here we're looking at part of the thyroid gland. And then we have thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, and tracheal cartilages. We have various ligaments that help to hold these structures together. So this ligamentous attachment here would be cricotracheal ligament. This one here is cricothyroid ligament. And then this here is thyrohyoid ligament. And also this membrane material here, this would be thyrohyoid membrane. We turn to the posterior view. You can see the epiglottis structure. You can also see the cricoid cartilage again coming around to the back. Notice it came all the way around as a 360 degree cartilage. You can see that the thyroid cartilage stops. And so in between the thyroid cartilage, you can see our atenoid cartilage. That's this one right here. And then on top of the arytenoid, this small little piece right here, this is called corniculate cartilage. And then this piece of cartilage in the wall right here, this is called cuneiform, that little bump right there, cuneiform cartilage. So epiglottis, cuneiform cartilage, corniculate cartilage, arytenoid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, thyroid cartilage. As we open up the structures, we're going to look inside the larynx. Again, here you can see the tongue. This is the lingual tonsil right here. Hyoid bone, epiglottis, thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, cricoid cartilage again, arytenoid cartilage, corniculate cartilage, cuneiform cartilage. We have the vocal folds. So this is true vocal fold, true vocal fold. This is false vocal fold. The area in between the true vocal folds is where the glottis would be. So the glottis is the slit-like opening that allows air to pass down, and that would pass into the trachea.